about two years ago or so, would you say two years? Yeah. Probably been about two years. We bought a young pair of tricolor hog noses that we had imported from a great breeder in the Netherlands. However, turns out they're both males. We figured this out maybe like two weeks ago, so we're kind of bummed. But sometimes breeders missex their babies because when they're really little, it can be tough to tell. So instead of reaching out to the breeder, we just went ahead and bought another female. <laughs> We thought this one was the, the male and this one was the female and because of their growth rates and how much larger this one is, I was certain that it was a female this entire time until one of our friends took a look at her and thought, no, that really looks like a male's tail. So we probed her and sure enough, it's a boy. So that means we have two males. If it was two females, that'd be fine because then we could just get a male and then breed two females. But two males, we don't need. I think we're going to end up keeping them both for now, but hoping to use this prettier one as our breeder. And once he proves himself, then we'll probably rehome this one. But I think it's time to unbox our new tricolored hognose snake. The nice thing is she is, I believe, a couple years old. So she's already a sub-adult from what I've been told, but we'll see here. I'm also curious how bright her colors are in person. Oh, okay. Okay, heat packs, still warm. Oh. Oh, there she is. Oh, okay, let's take her out. Oh. Wow, you're really shiny too. That's kind of cool. Hello, beautiful hog nose. How is your travel? You seem to have fared quite well. Nice, she's a really pretty tricolor hog. Let's see, what is this? She has some sort of wound on her back. Look at that. Oh yeah, I would be sending a picture of that uh, to yeah. the breeders. Yeah, we are gonna send a picture of that to him because that's a considerable wound that I didn't know that she had. Okay, we're gonna have to talk to him about that. But everything else looks good. And let's see, any mites or anything? Yeah, she looks fine otherwise. I am concerned though about Is this. It? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know what that's from. Man, that like goes down quite a ways yeah, too. Does. That's deep. Okay, well, this is why you check out your snakes right away when they come in the mail. And then if you record it, you can show that, you know, we opened her up on camera and this is how she arrived. So uh, I guess one of those cases where I'm going to have to contact the breeder right away and see what he can do about it. Thankfully, she seems okay otherwise, but we're also going to be treating her with probably some antibiotics and we're going to flush this wound out to make sure it doesn't get infected and we'll hope for the best. This is also why it's so important to quarantine new snakes upon arrival, because even if she didn't show that wound at all, there are sometimes underlying issues with snakes that they can hide for quite a while. Hopefully this is okay. I will be... Man, that's so... that's really too bad. Yeah. This is just one of the risks that you take when you buy an animal without seeing it in person first, because no matter what picture you're given, sometimes these little blemishes can be hidden in those pictures and you can't see them until they arrive. So what we're going to do, and if this ever happens to you, is we're going to contact the breeder, let him know, send him pictures, and if he needs it, we're gonna send him this video to show that we opened her and this is how she arrived with this weird hole in her back. Here's what we're gonna do. We have a bath. So we drew up for her about 85 degrees Fahrenheit. We're gonna add a little bit of betadine. This helps prevent bacterial infections. Stir that up a bit. And then we're just gonna simply give her a bath to try to flush that out. There you go. And we're gonna let her soak for a good 15, 20 minutes. This is good to do when any animal comes in the mail, really, because it helps hydrate them. And even if you don't use betadine here, just regular water gives them something to drink as soon as they arrive. And if they drink a little bit of the betadine solution, that it's okay, it's not gonna hurt them. All right. We just got her out of the bath and I'm drying her off because I just got off the phone with the breeder who um, we bought her from. And he's not sure what happened, says he didn't see any wounds when he shipped her and thinks it happened during shipping, which I honestly don't think it happened. I wonder if that could be a parasite that dug in there. I don't know, but this is a deep wound. Thankfully, the seller offered a full refund and we can send her back and he'll even pay for shipping. So that's 
a good thing on him. Uh, we're not going to mention any names because he did the right thing and he's offering a refund, so we don't want to like drag his name through the mud or anything. Although, we started thinking about it and her shiny or glossiness, that's often a sign of a wild caught snake, like a freshly imported wild caught snake. So I almost wonder if he didn't breed her either, but since he's offering a refund, we're just gonna send her back. If you ever receive a snake that is sick, bring it up immediately to the seller so that they can offer a refund, at least a partial refund, hopefully pay for shipping on the way back. If you do end up sending it back, we considered not uploading this video or not keeping this footage, but we figured maybe this can, our experience here can help you out in case you ever run into a similar instance where you have a snake with unknown wounds on it or if it arrives sick, it helps to take pictures immediately and send them to that seller, if not just film the whole thing so you can prove that it arrived in that condition. So it's really a shame that she has to get shipped back right away, but we at least did give her that betadine soak to flush out the wound and give her something to drink before she's sent back. And she's overnighted, so it's only like another night in the box and she'll be just fine. But that's really, really too bad. Uh, we're gonna continue our search for another female tricolor hognose snake, hopefully one that doesn't have unknown wounds on it. Of course, thank you to everyone for watching today's video and thank you to all the Patreon supporters for backing this channel. We'll keep you posted on if we find another new female tricolor hognose snake and we're gonna go ship her back. So we'll see you next time.